Hello, this is Mike, PC31, the Verna Policeman, and today I'm going to do an unboxing. Um, been waiting for this one for a little while, actually. Came out a week ago today, it's Friday today, and um, I I got it off of Amazon, and I got it for a fantastic price, but unfortunately it didn't turn up in time. So I waited and waited, and eventually it did turn up. Can't really grumble because I say the, the price was fantastic, and um but that's why i've been a, a few days late in actually doing an unboxing on this one steve all the world's a stage also we've been talking about this and uh, we've been really looking forward to this box set coming out and it is black savas anno domini um from 1980 the cover in the period 1989 to 1995 this is basically most of the tony martin years four albums in it all tony martin on lead vocals Tony Martin made one other album with Sabbath, which was the one prior to this in 1987, which was um, Eternal Idol. And um, it was the worst selling Sabbath album, actually. But then lineup changes, various things, and um, some fantastic material was, was going to come. And um, so anyway, this is the box set of um, four Sabbath albums. And it's real high quality box set as Sabbath always do super deluxe box set there we go four albums so basically what you've got here is um headless cross from 1989 that's been remastered you've got tear from 1990 remastered you've got a uh, cross purposes which sees a return of geezer butler actually that's from um, 1994 remastered and then the one which particularly intrigued about was forbidden which was 1995 yes and that's not only remastered, but that's that's a new mix. That's a whole new mix uh, from Tony Alomi. So four records. Uh, beautiful box. Really sturdy. Uh, right size for the Calexes. So that's, that's going to be really good. Um, there's just the, the loose page that comes with it, which I should pop inside, which is the same as the back page. Not quite the same, but, but virtually. What you get with this, apart from the four records, is a program, replica program from the um, uh, from the Headless Cross Tour 1989, which I shall have a flick through. You get um, a 40-page book, floppy book, but high quality, absolutely lovely. And again, I'll have a, a flick through that one. Uh, you get poster. Let's get the poster out of the way. To be seen once and straight back in the box, never to be seen again. But it's all good. Huge poster, so Black Sabbath. Okay, there we go. The uh, decal, so the hype sticker, looks like that. Okay, um, yeah, four RP Super Deluxe Edition, three albums newly remastered, and remix of Forbidden, 1989 Headless Cross Tour Replica Concert Program, 40 page book, photographs, artwork, liner notes, and Headless Cross poster. And as I say, all great quality. Before I go into say, detail, as I was say, playing the records from this, I've been rereading some of my Sabbath books and magazines. This is one which has literally just come out. And it's a, it's a kind of a reissue. It's a deluxe remastered edition, as they call it. But it's uh, from the Ultimate Uncut Guide. And these are, these are the ones which go through each album all the way through some of them. Fantastic books. Even Hand of Doom, the recent um, picture disc box set which came out. And uh, this is, when, when you look at um, all the four albums, Tear and uh, Forbidden, that's the lineup. So that's Tony Martin, obviously Tony Lomi, Cozy Powell and Neil Murray on bass. So they're on two of the things there, what we got here. Uh, that's the cross purposes lineup. So the only difference there is you, where you've got um, Bobby Rondinelli on drums instead of Cozy Powell. And um, as I say, on, uh, on cross purposes, Giza makes a return. 
which is which is really good okay so what I should I do i'm going to change the camera angle and um give you a flick through the tour program and also that 40 page book because it's really worth looking at okay folks so this is the um tour replica replica program and it's from the headless cross tour 1989 and uh, again it's it's great quality like the rest of the box set is as well is the guys on the tour which is um obviously tony martin tony Lomi, cozy power neil murray as i say it's lawrence cottle who actually plays on the album headless cross but neil murray who's on um forbidden and tear he's the bass player so tour program 89 lovely pictures Tony Martin. Shame they don't do programs anymore. I went to see uh, Bruce Springsteen the other day, no tour program. There wasn't when I saw him last year either. Um, nobody seems to be producing programs now, which is a real shame. Tony Alomi's Gibson SG, had a faith for. Tony and Lomi, talking about the tour, other things, Cozy, Tony Martin, Neil Murray, Jeff Nichols, ever present, and there's a discography of the Black Sabbath albums today. Photographs, so everything you can expect from a tour programme. Just going to very quickly read something to you, so I'm just going to turn it around, apologies. So this is Tony and Lomi. And um, Tony saying, my right arm kept going numb. I just couldn't feel a thing. So I went to see the good doctor. After the usual examinations and a series of x-rays, he walks in thinking he's God, tells me quite casually that I'm slowly going paralysed down the neck to my fingers. Can you imagine? Believe me, it didn't do my morale much good. When I came back to England, I went for a second opinion. And after a two-hour operation on my wrist and three weeks recovery, I was back hammering out the riffs. At megaton wattage i can assure you after that nothing will ever be able to get me down again there will always be a sabbath just as long as i can reach out and touch a few few of you with my music and make you happy that's what counts a big thank you to all my loyal fans who have stayed the distance and now for a few words of advice if a doctor ever tells you you may need your dick off <laughs> get a second opinion and Tony knows about these things because he's lost a few other bits and pieces in his time. That's uh, that's the tour program <laughs> from Headless Cross, nineteen eighty nine. Now this is the um, forty page book, floppy book, and it's um, again I keep saying it, but it's fantastic quality. These super deluxe box sets from Sabbath are just so good really good this runs through the musicians which is interesting which i've kind of already covered but tony alomi is the ever present on all four of these albums and tony martin and jeff nichols on keyboards neil murray bass on tear and forbidden geezer butler bass on cross purposes lawrence cottle bass on headless cross bobby rondinelli drums on cross purposes and cozy is on headless cross tear and forbidden and then uh, like a lot of these things you've got some um, you've got a prologue Talking about Headless Cross from 1989. Some magazine photographs and extracts and um, flyers, posters from tours all around this time. Headless Cross out soon. Kerrang! magazines that's the one for the two i'll say tony martin tony alomi cozy and uh neil murray again world tour 90 to 91 so you've got some great sabbath photographs and you've also got some very good write-ups which are interesting which cover the whole of this period and members of the band were in and out through this whole period it was it was pretty unstable epilogue and then here we got the lyrics for 
each album. Headless Cross, Tear, Cross Purposes, and Forbidden. And then you've got all of the credits for all the tracks on the albums there. So, uh, yeah, it's excellent book. So, okay. Right, let's take you through the, the four records, folks. As I say, Tony Martin had made one prior to this box set, which was um, Eternal Idol in 1987. That was on Vertigo, and that would be the reason it's not included in this box set the, these four records originally come out on irs so they obviously didn't get permission or didn't tie up with vertigo legally kind of thing uh so yeah so these are the four so headless cross this comes out in 1989 remastered and uh this is this will be Sava's 14th album and uh so on this one you've, you've got the ever present jeff nichols obviously tony martin vocals cozy pal Tony Lomi and Lawrence Cottle on bass. And uh, yeah, the, the, the remastering has made a difference. It's really kind of, it's a, it's a lovely sharp album. The production is um, is very, very good. It has definitely enhanced it. From a record point of view, they're all black vinyl. There's nothing, there's no 10 year war splat over this one. And the labels are all fairly standard. There's nothing overly sexy about those. But they're all in polylined black inners, which was good. So as I say, that's Headless Cross from 1989. Um, then from 1990, you've got Tear. And interestingly, I mean, with um, Tony Martin, I mean, from my point of view, I mean, Ozzy Osbourne, those first eight albums, plus 13, they're just the classic sabbath i mean ozzy's voice is obviously very very special um ronnie james dio his operatic voice huge operatic voice and i, I saw sabbath with ronnie james dio on the heaven and how tour um circa about 1980 saw sabbath with ozzy several times in the, in the 70s uh, never saw him with tony martin but tony martin i say sit, sits between kind of ronnie james and ozzy osbourne so like vocally very 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 strong vocalist and um, he came He came out of the Birmingham set as well, so as the rest of Sabbath did. But um, this particular one, when, when, it's, when it comes down to uh, lyrics and kind of lyrical ideas, I mean, obviously, as we all know, Geezer wrote virtually all of the lyrics um, for the first eight albums, and it's very much a cult, devil, evil, worship, um, a cult worship, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Ronnie James comes along with his angels and demons, his kind of a Dungeons and Dragons kind of um, ideas. And um, Tony Martin was definitely really trying to think of different ideas that he could put into the lyrics. The next one, Tear from 1990, this is very much based on Norse mythology. And uh, Tear is a son of Odin. So um, all of the sorry, lyrical ideas, as I say, are all, are all based around that kind of thing. And it's a good album. Neil Murray takes over on bass on this one. But you've still got Cozy Power, Tony Lomi and Tony Martin and the ever-present Jeff Nichols on, on keyboards. And again, from a uh, record point of view, nothing overly sexy on the label. Black vinyl and um, polylined inner sleeve. So with from a, from a successful point of view, both of those records kind of sold fairly well in the UK um didn't do quite as well in, in America but they were still selling okay the band was still touring but I think the record company Antonio Lomi at the time felt that it was time to um bring in a bigger name to try and you know kind of boost the success rate of Sabbath and so they recalled Ronnie James Dio and uh, Ronnie James re rejoined then for um Dehumanizer and it kind of did, I think, a little bit better than those albums, but not tremendously. But then Ronnie James leaves again. That was the 16th album, The Humanizer. And then um, Tony Martin, ever faithful, gets another call from Tony Lomi, and he comes back into the fold. And I think um, Tony Martin was really pleased to do it because he's he's about 10 years younger than the, than the rest of Sabbath. 
and he used to see Sabbath when he was about 15, 16. So he, he used to really kind of appreciate them. So to actually be a part of Sabbath, I think he was, you know, he loved it. But um, he got the call again when Ronnie James left for, and he rejoined the band for Cross Purposes from 1994. And uh, Cozy wasn't on this one. That was Bobby Rondinelli. But um, more importantly, Geezer returns, Geezer Butler on bass. And so this is a very good album. As I say, it's a remaster. You know, good album. Back cover. Again, polylined. Nothing extra special there. So then the final album in uh, the Tony Martin, out the Tony Martin Five, is one which was probably the one which most interested me here because I think, um, well, from my point of view, I've got Headless Cross, the original. Um, it's probably the only one actually out of those three, but I've never owned Forbidden. And Forbidden is a really interesting record because it came out in 1995. It was produced by a rap metal star, Ernie C. So completely different for Sabbath. And Ice-T appears on so the opening track, doing some vocals. So it, it's a very strange departure for Sabbath. And Tony Lomi and the rest of the band were never, although it came out, they were never happy with the mix, never comfortable about the production. And it's something which... Tony Lomi has wanted to remix for a long time and um, he's finally done it with this one. So this is the one I really, really wanted to hear. Um, it's fantastic. It is a really, really good album. Same cover as before, but um, the production on it, the mix is superb. For me, the songs are even stronger, actually. I mean, I, mean, I, I get a real feel of... Um, Aussie Sabbath of so 70s Sabbath. Some of those Tony Alomi riffs take you right back there. The songs, some songs are very, very strong. Tony Martin's vocals are superb. Um, I think I think this is a really good album. The only thing about this is I say I haven't got the original, so I've got nothing to compare it to, and I'm now desperate to go hold of a copy or hear the original. But this, I think, is a strong album. And since I got this box set, this is the record which I can get off the turntable. I've played this several times now, and it's just getting stronger and stronger for me. So, uh, Forbidden. So, it was um, Cozy comes back on drums. Cozy Power back on drums with this one. Neil Murray um, comes back on bass. Geezer goes again. Jeff Nichols on keyboards. So, Tony Martin vocals, and obviously Tony Lomi all the guitars, but I think this is an excellent album. And I know Steve at All The World Is The Stage is also really impressed with um, what they've done with the mix on this one. So that's a bit of a, a bit of a jewel in the box set for this particular one. So uh, hope you enjoyed that then folks. So that's the unboxing of Anno Domini, 1989 to 1995 Black Sabbath. And um, I'm pleased to get it in the collection. And as I say, it fits nicely in the Calax. Huge bonus. So speak again soon. Bye.